Thank you, everyone, for coming today. Uh, welcome to our virtual exhibit, virtual and in person for those of you who are here, uh, exhibition of North is Freedom. Uh, thanks for joining us at the St. Catharines Museum for this event, either uh, virtually or in person. Uh, this exhibit will be on display at the museum for the next year. So those of you who are out uh, in cyberspace, we uh, really appreciate you coming to uh, see the exhibit in person at some point in the next year. Uh, and really to enjoy this uh, amazing uh, exhibit of images that uh, Yuri has pulled together. Before we begin, I'd like to acknowledge that the land on which we gather is the traditional territory of the Haudenosaunee and Anishinaabe peoples, many of, people, many of whom continue to live and work here today. Today, this gathering place is home to many First Nations, Métis, and Inuit peoples. Acknowledging this reminds us that our great standard of living is directly related to the resources and friendship of Indigenous people. North is Freedom is a photography exhibit about the descendants of freedom seekers who arrived in Ontario on the Underground Railroad. Our great community of St. Catharines is well represented in the exhibit by locals Donna Ford, who is here joining us today, uh, Ada Summers and Margot Leslie. Uh, to start our program for today, I'd like to introduce our mayor, Walter Sensick, the mayor of St. Catharines, uh, who is always a great ongoing supporter of the museum and who will say a few words. Thank you very much, Kathleen. It is wonderful to be here as our community starts to reopen just to see people in person again. On Thursday, we we wrote, we um, celebrated Emancipation Day weekend, kicking off in our community with the raising of the flag, and it was the first time we had, I'm going to say, more than 75 people on the front lawns of City Hall in the last 18 months. And just to see the energy and the vibrancy there, it's really the reawakening of our community. And Ambassador, I just want to say welcome to St. Catharines, Niagara. It is a wonderful part of our, our country. And as you see by the artwork here on our walls, the history of the Underground Railway goes back so many, so many years. And Harriet Tubman played such an important role. This was her home for many years as part of being the conductor on the Underground Railway. And I just wanna say Kathleen to you and your team, uh, pulling this together and ensuring that, that Yuri's work is here in St. Catharines at the museum that has become such an important stop for so many people coming to learn about the history of our community. They get to come here and see these powerful images, images of, of families, images of lineage, images of history. When we think about history, it's about people. And when we look at the images on the wall, there are stories behind each of those images. And it's tied right here back into St. Catharines as part of the Underground Railway. So, this is going to be a destination for many people over the summertime to be able to come to St. Catharines, come here, learn about the people, learn about their stories, their experiences, and then go on into the museum. And we have, we have such a rich history in our museum today that has captured so many of the moments starting back when Harriet Tubman called St. Catharines home and was able to thread together, piece together all of those important stories uh, that come about. So, Today's opportunity to, to be a part of the opening of this exhibit is an important part of us celebrating our community. North is freedom, and North is freedom. And you think about all the, so long ago, what our community stood for, that, that beacon, that North Star. And to have those histories still here today at the BME Church on Geneva Street, and a nationally historic site here. And Ambassador, if you have an opportunity to, to at least do a drive-by, you'll understand this, this small church that at the time was at the edges of our community played such an important role. And Rochelle Bush tells a story about how Harriet Tubman didn't work in isolation, that the people in St. Catharines, there were people in St. Catharines that were very much supporting what she was doing and helping to finance, helping to find jobs for those who were coming up through the Underground Railway. 
And Donna Ford has, has kept that history so much alive with the work that she's doing. And it is an honor to be here again with Donna. And I've had you on my show on Coach Cola a number of times, being able to tell those stories. And the important part is being able to tell the stories from a first person's perspective. And so I just want to say thank you, Yuri. Your, for your, your, your photography is absolutely stunning. Uh, to the ambassador, I want to say thank you for making an important stop here as you uh, are journeying across this country and to Kathleen and your team. Uh, this is who we are. And when we look at the walls here, uh, this is part of who we are as a community. And I couldn't be more honored to be here today. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor Sensic, for your uh, for your comments. Uh, today, as the mayor mentioned, we're welcome to uh, pleased to welcome Vít Koziak, who is the ambassador to the Slovak Republic in Ottawa, who is here. He's going to say a few words about the exhibit and about his friend Yuri, who is the uh, photographer and the curator of this exhibit. Mr. Ambassador. Hello to everyone. I'm, I'm uh, very happy to be here in the community in such countries. This is actually the first time I'm, I'm, I'm visiting and uh, I drove today from, from Ottawa and I couldn't miss this, this exhibition and there are a uh, number of reasons uh, for it. I'm, I'm really proud as, as uh, ambassador of Slovakia to Canada that, that the work of uh, uh, Slovak Canadian photographer and artist Yuri Doge was chosen for the celebration of the Emancipation Day. Um, and uh, there is certainly more to it than uh, Yuri's heritage that brings me here. As, uh, as you know, as ancestors of those who are portrayed uh, in, in this exhibition found a safe haven in, in Canada, also in this, in this very community. Yuri himself, a refugee some 50 uh, years ago, found uh, freedom in Canada when he left when he uh, had to flee at Czechoslovakia during its uh, communist totalitarian regime. And uh, together with him, a thousand of Slovaks, some of them also living in this very community, found uh, freedom and, uh, and, uh, and success. And they are part of Canada's well-known diversity uh, uh, and, and cultural uh, greatness. Uh, both Yuri and the, the ancestors of men and women captured by, by Yuri's uh, uh, artistic lens were freedom seekers. So this is what is bringing us here today. These, these strong personal stories uh, are uh, guiding us through times. They teach us the lessons of humanity and they can actually make us better people. And I hope uh, it for everyone who will come to see this exhibition uh, today and, and in the next uh, weeks and months. Uh, today, Slovakia and, and Canada work side by side as friends and partners, strongly committed to human rights and fight against any discrimination, any hatred and intolerance, both in our societies and, and globally. And this is very important. Uh, and on a, on a personal note, it wasn't not so long ago uh, that this exhibition was presented uh, in Ottawa during uh, Black History Month. Uh, it was, I believe, uh, in February 2019. Uh, and by the twist of the life's uh, coincidence, uh, we all came, meaning audience and, and speakers to the exhibition, but Yuri couldn't. Uh, who knew that two years later we will be perfectly zooming and, and following conferences uh, on our laptops? In that time, we didn't know we didn't know really what to zoom and meet someone over Zoom means. So uh, in that time, I promised to Yuri, if I may say, he was in the hospital. That, uh, once he recovers, I will definitely have uh, have to come for his exhibition and. Uh, Again, at the twist of uh, life circumstances, I'm here, Yuri's here, and I was afraid the audience will not be here this time <laughs> because of the pandemics, but it's not true. We have people here, and as well, I, I'm, I'm sure that we have plenty of people also, also online, 
and we can uh, uh, learn from, from, from this uh, wonderful exhibit. I really would like to thank to the museum. I would like to thank to all the organizers. I would like to thank to, to Dorothy Abbott as well. I'm very happy to see you, see you again. And let me also uh, finish on, on, uh, on a personal note. I wish you, Yuri, a lot of strength and a lot of energy so you can carry your important artistic message to more and more people. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Ambassador, for uh, for joining us here. We're so pleased to uh, to have you here to uh, to visit our city and to uh, see our museum. Also, want to uh, take a moment to uh, recognize Dorothy Abbott, who is uh, here sitting with us today uh, from the Ontario Black History Society, who helped bring this exhibit to fruition, and uh, we're very pleased to be able to host it here uh, at St. Catharines. So, thank you very much, Dorothy, and thank you so much for being here today. So for those people who are in the room, this won't be a surprise, but for those people who are out there virtually, this exhibit looks at the story of freedom seekers from an interesting and unique perspective. Uh, some 150 years after the journey to freedom ended for those seeking freedom from enslavement. Canadian photographer Yuri Josh explores the northern end of the Underground Railroad, pre presenting images of descendants, black and white, young and old, these are the grandchildren, great-grandchildren, and great-great-grandchildren of once enslaved African Americans who have contributed to the growth of this great nation and to our community. It's a really amazing exhibit and a really interesting perspective to look at the Underground Railroad that uh, you know we wouldn't normally see uh, in most exhibits, especially in museums about the Underground Railroad. So I'm really thrilled that we're able to, uh, to have this unique perspective here. And with that, I will welcome Yuri to the podium. Uh, Yuri is the exhibit artist and curator and uh, an amazing artist at that. Podium is yours. I'm not curator actually, it's uh, Dorothy. Oh, sorry. Oh, I'm sorry, Dorothy. And the reason I wasn't in Ottawa at opening because I came to Ottawa, we were going to have the show and I got a heart attack. So I ended up in hospital, but thanks God, Dorothy and Ambassador came to see me all the time and I recovered. Hopefully that. So Mr. Ambassador, Mr. Mayor, Dorothy, museum people, <laughs> Donna, uh, I would like to just say that uh, the greatest things on this journey was meeting all these wonderful people. First of all, they were gracious. Second, they opened the door to me. And um, there's a certain coincidence. They ran from for, for freedom from the United States. I ran from for freedom from Czechoslovakia, from oppressive system. So, uh, is this affinity to this whole project. Um, we started at the uh, Canadian Embassy and then thanks to Don, uh, Dorothy, we turned this into a project which we can show around. So again, thanks to the, all the people who were on those pictures and thanks a few of you who could come today. The picture should tell the rest of the story. So you can ask me later if you have some specific question. Thanks. Thank you so much, uh, Yuri, for your uh, insight into this uh, process. And uh, thank you also for, uh, for this wonderful exhibit. Uh, and also for those people who didn't hear uh, Yuri, I really do like to acknowledge Dorothy as the curator of this exhibit. I'm sorry, Dorothy, I didn't realize that. So I really, I really appreciate it. It's an amazing exhibit. Uh, the way that the exhibit has been pulled together is so thoughtful and so um, thought provoking and I hope that uh, all those who are out in cyberspace will come and have a look at it and also thank you so much for everyone is, who is here today to uh, to take part in the opening. 
The museum is uh, proud to be a longtime member and supporter of the Central Ontario Network for Black History. This organization has spent many years sharing our community's Black history and bringing visibility to the story of the Underground Railroad and their descendants uh, who remained in the community afterwards and who built their lives here. We could not have hosted this exhibit without the support of the Central Ontario Network for Black History, who provided the financial assistance to bring this exhibit here and who have consistently supported the museum in all of our programming. And I want to especially thank Donna Ford, who is here with us today. She doesn't really want to speak, so I want to ask her to come up to the podium. Uh, but Donna, thank you so much for your support of the museum as uh, uh, the chair of the Central Ontario Network for Black History, but also as a docent in the past and just a great friend of all of us here. Uh, and thank you so much for making it possible for us to be able to bring this exhibit here. And so with that, I'm going to, uh, to bring our uh, exhibit launch to a close. But uh, before I do so again, I wanna thank you all for joining us today for this virtual and small in-person exhibit opening. Uh, and uh, for those who are virtual, please, we welcome you to come and visit our museum uh, anytime. And this exhibit is going to be on display for the next year. Uh, and for the rest of you, please take the time to really take a look at the exhibit closer. And also you're welcome to uh, have a look at the rest of our exhibition galleries while you are here. Thank you so much uh, for joining us today. You're welcome to have a look around. <laughs>